good morning and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I solved a big problem, some of my favorites through the month of April, and I do have a few beauty items. I am going to talk about what I'm wearing on my face, and then I'm going to circle back and talk about something that was really helpful during with Jim's hospitalization and give you an update and just do some chit chat. Well, first of all, I'll talk about the problem that I had. Until about a week before Jim had his hip replacement, which was, like it'll be three weeks tomorrow, I was under the impression that we were gonna get a hospital bed. The mattress and bed in our bedroom is 30 inches and that is too high. And our couch, we have two couches in the living room. One of them would have been a little bit better, but the seat is more narrow. And there's a couch that Jim loves, but it was too low. So then he said, well, I don't really need, I don't really want a hospital bed. Yeah, I mean, I had it all figured out, knew exactly where I was going to put the furniture, push it back. And I thought, what am I going to do? What? So I was just thinking, if I could lift those cushions up and make it higher and make it more firm, that the couch that he loves, we call, I call it a couch, some people call it a sofa, my mom used to call them Davenports, but anyway... And I thought, what am I going to do? I mean, it wasn't broken down. They had something you can put underneath your cushions if your uh, foundation isn't strong, but it was strong. Well, I just started thinking, and I thought, I'm going to see if I can order some foam. I thought, I'm going to look online and see what I can find. And I wanted some a supportive foam. Well, I found something, and it is absolutely wonderful. And it's from Go-To Foam, I think is the name of it. And I'm going to put a picture in here someplace of what I achieved. I, it was six inches tall, 24 inches deep, which was the depth of the couch. And it was 72 inches long. And that was just a couple of inches longer than what the cushions were. So it was like $65, $70. And it was not Amazon Prime. Although I got free shipping and handling, if it didn't work, Amazon wasn't going to take care of it. But I thought... If this solves the problem, even just temporarily, it would be worth it because I could find another use for the foam. I had no idea how great it would work. I didn't want it to stand out like a sore thumb, that foam underneath the cushions. So I ordered a black twin size bedspread and it was $16. And it was an Amazon Prime and it wasn't free shipping, but it was $10. So I, th so I thought, well, it'd be a total of $26 for a twin size black bedspread. So I ordered it and here's a, here's what it looks like close up. I can kind of show you. It is not the best, but I doubt, and it says it's washable, but I doubt if I'll even have to wash it. I'm going to keep it on there for a while, but I told Jim it's not as easy to get new furniture as it used to be. He absolutely loves it. It supports his body. It doesn't dent down. It is pretty doggone amazing. So I was thrilled. It probably won't surprise you if you've watched me very long. Jim and I got married 15 years ago last May, and the only furniture that's been per purchased is we got a new mattress when we got married, and probably 10 years after that, I bought a so sofa table that I have against my wall, I mean, that I have against my front window in the living room, and then the leather chair that used to be in here that's now in the living room. That's all the furniture I've purchased, and I've been really thinking hard as far as knickknacks around my house. I've purchased some battery operated candles and some fake hydrangeas. What I brought in this home in 1991 were things that I really loved and, and I don't change it up. I, I don't, if I love it, I love it. And if I don't, I don't. But, so that really solved a big problem. And when we get a new sofa, couch, whatever, I can use that foam for something else I could make cushions for any of the outdoor furniture, I, I, I just know it's not going to go to waste. So that was my number one. And briefly, I'm going to speak about what I have on my face. And what I'm wearing today is the It Cosmetic Celebration Foundation Illumination. And that's what it looks like. And I don't think it illuminates any more than the regular Celebration Foundation. The only thing I did differently than I usually do is I made sure that I did not have on a blush that has any shimmer and this one is from Tarte. I don't think they make this anymore but I think it's called Fairy Dust and it is just a beautiful blush that has absolutely no shimmer. 
I wanted you to see what it looks like. I don't have any concealer. That's just all I have on my face. Then I have a few items I want to talk about later that are beauty items that I really do like. Something I've been really happy with is I got a new toilet for the front bathroom downstairs. We have a tall toilet in the back bathroom downstairs, but not in the front. I decided that we needed, both of them needed to be tall, so I'm gonna put a picture in because I think this is really cool. I love how the sides look. I love how so easy it's gonna be to clean, and I don't like that little silver thing, but I'm gonna see if I can get that pushed back a little bit. But I was really, really pleased to get that installed. It has been very helpful. Now the next item I heard about from Melissa55, and I know it was last year. I know it was last year, and I bought them as soon as she mentioned it. And I'm gonna show you the one I use, but I'm gonna first show you the package. The name of it is Street Free, and they are a cloth that you can do windows with nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing, just water. And here's what mine looks like. I have got three of them. I gave one to my sister, and this is the one I've used ever since. And I know it looks dirty. It almost feels like it's a paper. I don't know what it is, but every time I use it, I wash it under with, I just put a little Dawn detergent and wash it. And I mean, I've got stains on it because I did some outside windows and things like that. You squeeze out all the water and like my glass door, I have a solid glass door, a storm door on my porch. On the outside, I went down to clean it and on the inside, I went across. I just kind of move it around, and I'm not kidding you, it is, looks like there's no glass there. Uh, I've never used anything that cleaned glass or mirrors as easily, and I've used this probably, I don't know, at least five months, so it was. it's a good one. Thank you, Melissa, I appreciate it. Something else I purchased because I heard Laura Ray uh, speak about it on her channel, and her channel is Shake Up Makeup. And she was talked about getting an LED compact. I don't carry a mirror in my purse. And I thought, you know what, that would be handy. This is one times and also five times magnification. When, it, when you open it up, woo, hey, I, I need that light. Woo, that looks nice. When you open it up, it looks like that. And you can lower the strength of the light. And then on the other side, it's a one times, but the seven times is too much for me. Five times is perfect. So if you get something in your eye or you need to check something out when you're gone, when you're not home next to a mirror, I thought this was a really good one. I can't remember how much it was, but I, I'll list it below, but I was happy to have that. So thank you, Laura Ray, for uh, mentioning that. Okay, you know I love eyeliner in my upper waterline, and I love navy uh, eyeliner in my upper waterline. The first several years that I did YouTube, I always used one from It Cosmetics. It was perfect. Stayed up, didn't transfer, and they made a new formulation recently, and it's just not good. Well, Mary, glitzy fritzy, kind of turned me on to the one from Milk, so I got hooked on the ones from Milk. Well, they quit making them and I found um, Milani and I really liked it, but, but I wanted a brighter blue and they didn't have very many shades to choose from. Mary was talking about the one by Gwen Stefani, how it would, reminded her so much of the one from Milk, so I had to buy it and I'll show you the color it is and you'll see how much brighter. There you go. And I have it on my upper waterline today and I've been wearing it and I really like it. I have worn it a lot and I haven't had to sharpen it because I don't want a sharp tip when I'm going up underneath here. I just want it to kind of be dull. Thank you, Mary, for telling me about Gwen Stefani's eyeliner. This next item I absolutely love. And I just stumbled across this when I was looking at Ulta and it's by Tarte. And it is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Tint. And I'll put a I'll put something in here showing you how I apply it and what it looked like on. I had clean, dry lips, and I put that on, and that's what it looked like. And here's what it still looks like after mm, probably an hour and a half. I love it. But then again, you know I love lip products. It clicks up. Uh, I want to get some other shades. I was really taken with this. Um, I like some gloss, and I have 68-year-old lips, and it appreciates a little bit of gloss, and uh, 
I think it makes them look smoother. I just think it makes lips look good. And I still don't have an answer on my lip plumpers. I'm still working on it. This product I talked about quite a few months ago, and it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is their Brow Freeze. I love it. The only thing you have to do is make sure you keep it, you shut it tight, because I have read where it will dry out. I mean, I've used it a long time. I don't know if you can see. But since I have brows, it puts them in place perfectly. I think if you don't have brows, don't have many brows, I don't think it would work. But my brows are fuller because of a couple of reasons. And I don't use any brow product. This is the only thing I use, and it does tame down my wiry ones because I do have some in here that get kind of wiry. But I've been using this a long time, and I just wanted to tell you, if you have eyebrows, it is really good. Something that I've been wearing since Christmas, and I have not taken it off, I haven't, is this chain. I'll put a close-up. It's a 10 karat gold chain that is adjustable. So I can wear it up high and I can wear it to 22 inches. And what is so nice about it, all I have to do is grab, go to the back, find the little heart that's right here. And then there's a ball and I just move it down. Now I have a 22 inch chain. So this is, I, what I do is when I take a bath, I lift it up, I wash my neck, then I take soap and I clean it. And I've had this little pendant, I would imagine about 50 years. It's a diamond with a few rubies on it. And I needed something that was white gold and I didn't want sterling silver. And even though I, this is before I found out that I'm not allergic to nickel, but still yet I, I do want to have, when I wear something all the time, I don't want to have to worry about it. And this is very fluid, but I've just been really happy with it. And, and what I'm really happy about is how easy it is to get back up here. I think it's a 0 0.7 millimeter. It's not a super thick chain, but I've just been really happy because I've worn all different kinds of necklines and I don't have to change and I'm a slacker. You know, I'm a slacker. After my last video, I was talking about in the giveaway that I did a couple videos ago and I wanted to know about where people lived. Well, I heard from every other state with the exception of Wyoming. So that is the only state in the United States that I have not heard from. So I, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, now I wanna talk about something that I love that made it so easy for our hospital visit and well, for our travels coming up. I have a lot of suitcases. I do, I, I have them and I, when I get new suitcases, I give them away to somebody that needs suitcases. Of course, I remember when suitcases, they didn't have anything to roll. And I remember we got mom a one that had this little arm on the side and you lifted it up and there was one wheel. And when she would travel, she loved it. And she's the one who taught me to put a, a strange colored ribbon on your suitcase so you could always identify it. And I've always done that. Well, I was looking for something with the four rollers on the bottom, something that I could easily carry into the hospital, or Jim could, you know, I mean, because he goes went in through a wheelchair. And I looked and I looked and I looked, and I settled on this from Steve Madden. And I'm gonna get back, because I'm gonna show you what I like about it. The main thing I loved were the wheels. The second thing that I loved was there was outside storage, and this is expandable. And I will tell you that when we got to the hospital, I, got Jim pulled up, got Jim in a wheelchair, went back and parked and brought this in with me. And he was able to, as I pushed him, he just had his hand on it and it just went right with him. Well, I gotta tell you a story what happened. What? Well, I thought I will just take this and I won't take a purse. And the reason we took this is because I knew he was gonna have to spend one night and I was really hoping that I could stay and I could stay. And I had COVID testing done when he had his done. So they couldn't say, well, you haven't been COVID tested. But anyway, it had this area right here. After we got registered, I put his wallet in here and his cell phone in here and I just zipped it up. So anyway, we were, I was sitting in the lobby and they came and they got Jim and we walked back to admitting. And I, you know, of course took this with me. They said, it'll be a few minutes. So I went back in the lobby and I thought something about, oh, I'm gonna turn his phone off. And I went like this and it was not in there. And I was sick. I was absolutely sick. They called me back to go into his admission and I got to stay then. 
And the whole time I was thinking, I've lost your wallet. I've lost, and I, I, before I went back, I looked in the trash. I hadn't been anywhere. This went with me to the bathroom. I mean, I hadn't been anywhere. So I thought, well, if I've lost his wallet and I've lost his phone, I've just lost it. Well, my son came and sat with me while Jim was having surgery. And I looked down and I noticed that there was another zipper. And I opened this up and look at all that. It was in there and I was so thrilled. But it has a, also has a pocket. I'll just put a picture of it. I'll put a link to it. Sometimes you can find these on sale. I prefer the cloth. I don't really want the hard. I know the hard is in style now, but I don't really care what's in style. What I care about is if something is easy for me, and this will be perfect for our future trips. You know I love Bilt Bars, and I just want to share with you something. Today is uh, April the 26th. It's Tuesday, and they still have these on their website, and they're called Yellow Chirps, and they're 80 calories, and they are like so soft and good and chewy. I wanted to let you know about that. I wanted to let you know that Bilt has come out with granola bars. I haven't tried them yet, but I, I'm anxious to try them. It's hit or miss. It's mostly hit for me, but like I still have one paranormal pumpkin that I will eventually eat, but it wasn't my favorite. They did send a new puff to me to try. I can't wait till it comes out. It, it's, it's like delicious. So when Jim was in the hospital in that suitcase, I had several different belt bars because it's getting protein that's important to me. I can get all my vegetables, I can get all my fruits, but sometimes I just have a hard time getting protein. So all time favorite, it's either the vanilla, the cherry Garcia, or the cookies and cream, or the peanut butter, or the brownie coconut. There's quite a few that I really like. And I have to share with you that Jim is doing wonderfully well. We still have in-home physical therapy. This week they come two times, next week two times, and they'll come down to one each week. And then on May 20th, we go see his doctor again. He is doing great. His goal was if he was able to walk on a cane that it would be a success. They're just amazed how well he's doing and he can walk like a cane. He can walk like a cane. <laughs> and he can walk with a cane great. And I, I, I think he'll be walking without one. Thank you so much for your prayers and your good vibes and your good wishes. And we look forward to traveling and using the new suitcases. So anyway, it is all good. Thank you so much for hanging in here with me. I appreciate you. I wish there was something else I could say, but that's the only word that I can think of. I mean, I am just in awe that I have as many viewers as I do that leave comments and, um, and connect. Fabulous bunch of women. I, I'm, I'm so blessed. Anyway, I will see you in my next video and you take care. And I thought, what am I gonna do? So I thought, well, I'm gonna look at Walmart. No, I didn't. I'd rather be sh me very not. They don't. I know that the bed and the, the mattress.